Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Laura and this is Opswet versus Sodonokubi. Sodonokubi is a ransomware that's been lurking around the internet for a few months now. It's actually a zero day vulnerability threat because it'll feed off a bug found in Oracle's WebLogic server. This malware will usually come in through a phishing email and after a few days of infecting the host, it'll start asking for ransom amounts. Now these amounts are not even that high, they're between 2 to 5k, but the reason why this is a very sneaky file is because it'll start to lead in its shadows or files similar to the ones that's been encrypted and this makes the recovery process very difficult. Now here at Ops, well, we've actually been able to identify so it could be as a malicious file for quite some time now, but before we get into that, if we would like to learn a little bit more about Sodonokubi, we can check out this article online. Additionally, we can also look at the article's website to see what they have to say about this vulnerability and how they've dealt with it. But I personally like to go on the Opsweat Meta Defender Cloud website. So here, if we enter the hash value of Sodonokubi, we can learn more about this malware. So 26 out of the 37 AV engines have identified Sodonokibi as a malicious file. So it's a safe bet that this is a malicious file. Additionally, we can check out the multi-scanning tab, which lets us know which AV engines have identified Sodonokibi as a malicious file and which AV engines have yet to identify Sodonokibi as a malicious file. Finally, under the scan history report, we can see um, quite a few things. So first of all, we can find out when this file was first detected by OpsWhat. And this took place in May 8th of 2019. And over the span of a few months, more and more AV engines have been able to identify so it knows could be as a malicious file. So this really goes to show the beauty of the multi-engine. I hope you learned something today and thank you for joining me.